following program is from NET, the Public Television Network. Quite a Quano Entertainment presents Quentin Tarameen's Extravaganza, episode 37, Life with Bubbles. Time to shine, everything will be alright. Everyone's excited to see. Another afternoon in Animation Land. As you can see, I've just finished my script for Chapter 8 of Hemus the Sentai Go Ranger. Now, just so you know, the number of chapters there will be in this manga will depend on how many adventures I've had with the Go Rangers by the time we've annihilated the Black Cross Army. I've already had. Say, is that the mail truck? Duh, of course it is. Better go check my mailbox. Okay, let's see what we have here. Ooh, a letter from Miyako. She's inviting me to come spend the night with her. Might as well accept since we just went on our first date a week ago. I've actually never been to the Gotokuchi household before. What would it look like? Guess I'll find out once I get there. Come on! Alright, so I'm in Cerulean City right now, and this is the Gotokuchi house, I guess. Looks like your average suburban home. Wonder what Miyako's planned for me. Guess there's only one way to find out. Oh, hi, Quentin! Momoko, Kaoru, didn't expect to find you two here as well. Well, this is our household after all. Alright, you got me. Anyway, where's Miyako? She's in the room getting ready. So how did that first date go last week? It went surprisingly well, actually. I expected it to be your average spending time with friends thing, but... Oh, Quentin, Chan! Miyako? Ooh! Ooh, I think Quentin's got the hots for her now. Well, then again, he's attracted to tutus and all that jazz, so I expected it. Oh my god. How's this? Well, you sure aroused Quentin here, so it's a ten. Oh, I just realized I was supposed to treat the four of us to Wendy's for dinner. I'll be right back with the food. Hey, where's the beef? So, wow, you just have to go there. Anyway, mind if we show you around? Sounds good to me. Okay, we actually sleep in these comfortable glass coffins that are made for two people. Momoko sleeps in a pink one, I sleep in a green one, and Miyako here sleeps in a blue one. Wow, makes perfect sense. Yeah, we've been living in this house ever since our parents were killed by Warrior Mask. Yeah, but thankfully he's dead now, so they've been avenged. I'm back! Perfect timing, Momoko. You know, I have a VHS tape of The Lion King, so anyone up for it? I'm always up for Disney's African take on Hamlet. Our younger sister's found true love. Well, it's about time she had, since you're dating Dexter and all. Oh, Simba now knows the truth. Yeah, surprising it takes so long for him to figure out that his father was murdered by his own brother. So, how was the food? It was good! Thanks, Momo! Hey, it was the least I could do! Simba's now playing his rival plays as King of the Pride Lands! Aw, and he's got his own cup now! Of course, we'll find out about her in the sequel! Alright, I gotta go take a shower! We all do! Quentin, you can use the guest bathroom! Alright! Miyako! Quentin! That's funny, they disappeared since we took showers! Maybe they're in Miyako's room. Let's check. Aw, they look so cute when they're asleep. They're like angels. Quintus should date Miyako more often. But of course, we still have to deal with the Black Cross Army. Anyway, thank you for coming over to spend the night with us. We sure enjoyed your company. Come back whenever the Black Cross Army attacks or whenever you get a chance. Peace out. Bye. This episode was the original story and created entirely for the show. Written by Quentin Cole, copyright 2018.
This program is a production of Prince of Carnival Entertainment. This is NET, the public television network.